I'm Chelsea. I'm part of the Essential Beauty team. I've worked for Essential now for over nine years. And today I'm going to be talking you through the new repackaged 2023 update of, dare I butcher the pronunciation, Clarins Eau Resource Sant. It's quite funny when I was looking around, the pronunciation of these are quite a sticking point. So do comment if I've said it wrong or what you think it might be, because I've heard Eau Resource Sante, Eau Resource Se. So yeah, let me know. Moving on. Eau Resource Sant is back for 2023 with a brand new formula. And I'll be honest, the skincare ingredients are better. The naturality is better. And I'm going to talk you through today why you should use this perfume over others in the range and why you might like it. So firstly, you might see that there's a few products here and not just the fragrance. And that's correct. I'm going to be talking you through the whole fragrance line because after try and testing them all, it's so much better when you layer the fragrance, not only for more impact, more longevity, but also for the skincare benefits within each of the products. So something you might know about, might not know about this range, this fragrance, the whole sort of aroma collection from Clarins aren't just fragrances, they're actually skincare as well. And these are the ones that they use in their spa. So it's really nice that you get to take a piece of that home if you've had a treatment and just recreate that because they're so relaxing and the fact that they can moisturize and burn the skin is another benefit. What does this smell like and why we like it? This is more of a relaxing scent. I would definitely say this is more of an evening routine. It's got um, no woody floral notes in there and it's also got rabina flower, which help, helps to keep your skin nice and soft. It's not garish, it's really subtle, it's really clean. Um, it's not gonna sort of spark off some energy after a busy day, it's just gonna give you a nice moment of serenity. There are a few others in the, the aroma range that I just wanna compare this to quite quickly because this might be for you, another one might be for you, but there's definitely one in the range for, for what you want. You've got Eau de Nami Sant, which is the red one, which is more like an energizing fragrance, better for the morning, and Eau de Jardin, which is day or night, but just a bit more of the in-between. So you've got the morning, the evening, and then just the everyday with Eau de Jardin. From my perspective, you'll also know there's um, Eau Extraordinaire, which is the latest launch for 2022. Um, that's the green bottle. And that one is, is probably the most glam smell out of all of them, I would say. It's more green, more like creamy, creamy floral. Um, again, I've been using it in the day and the night. It's kind of sits in with Eau de Jardin, but this one quite clearly is for me the most relaxing one out of them all. So let's go a little bit deeper with the fragrance notes for Eau Resort Sand. So when I go through the breakdown, you'll see it's quite herby, but don't be put off by how they sound because it's completely different to what they feel like and smell like on the skin. So you've got notes of basil in there, which is obviously quite fresh and aromatic. You've got notes of sage again, that's quite green and aromatic. Um, you've also got benzoin, which is a bit more of a resinous facet. It's kind of um, warm and just adds a little bit more of a depth to the fragrance. Then you've also got cedar in there as well, which brings that floral woodiness together, but it's not green at all. It's almost got like a kind of a cosmetic -y smell, I think. It's just really soft, it's not offensive. Um, from first spray, you can smell more of the aromatic notes, but honestly, they dissipate within seconds. I'm just experiencing it now and I can really smell the florals start to come through in the woods. So it's a very interesting fragrance. In addition to those fragrance notes, you've also got the smoothing properties of Rabina flower, and it's not Ribena, it's spelled Robina, um, which helps to keep skin nice and soft and tease a shrift as well, which is one of Clarins's most used um, ingredients in a lot of their skincare. So that's kind of the composition. Um, it is 93% um, natural origin as well. The other benefit is it's non-photosynthesizing, which is a hard word to say. So you can wear this in the sun and it won't react. It won't dry your skin out. And it's great for people who are a bit more sensitive to fragrance as this is more of a gentle option. 
Talking about layering the fragrance, the first step is the Clarins Shower Milk. I was really surprised when I first used this because I was so, I was just couldn't believe the pearly formula. So I don't know if you can see, but this milk is really, really beautiful and pearlescent. When I first opened it, I was expecting this sort of almost milk-like texture, but Clarins have managed to combine a, like the feeling of a nice sumptuous lather with a, with a milk to create a happy medium. So it's better for dry skin, basically. Wash that off, then step out of the shower. Don't dry yourself completely. I would then use the spray on your pulse points, in particular the back of your knees, um, in your inner arm, here, back of the ear. And then as soon as you can really, start to work the moisturizer in. The texture of this really does complement the milk. They're really similar consistencies. Um, apologies. I'm gonna just work it in now to see the sheen that it gives skin and just how comforted it feels is really lovely. And that's because this one's got more of a shea butter in, um, which again is better for dry skin. As I'm layering it now, I can really smell the sort of floral woody notes. And it, it is just divine. It's really, really inoffensive. And I would describe it as quite comforting in a way. Then a top tip is to go back and layer your pulse points with this fragrance. The reason being, because it's got skincare benefits in, you want to apply it like the thinner layers um, first to penetrate. So by layering it, not only will you reap the benefits more from the skincare elements of this, but you'll also layer the fragrance for longer. Focusing back a little bit more now on this fragrance itself, I would say the longevity is about two to four hours. I love it when someone smells a fragrance on me. It just proves that that fragrance has got um, some kudos, if that makes sense. So I did layer these the other day and I went to, went over to a friend's house. To be honest, I wasn't expecting any compliments, but I thought this is my test to see if anyone recognizes it. I gave her a hug and she literally, the first thing she said was, wow, you smell amazing, what is that? Um, and that was from layering. So I highly recommend the routine, but it's just got this sort of understated presence that isn't too loud or garish. So if you love your fragrances to be clean, fresh, comforting, and just enjoyable to wear, Always All Sam's will be the one for you. We get a lot of questions in what gender are these for and just want to put it out there, they're completely gender neutral. Um, it's not too floral and it's not too, too masculine either. It's got a really nice balance so anyone can wear this fragrance.